They're not going to take it. They're going to go on. McGrady, six seconds. Down to five. Down to four. McGrady for the win. Yes! Tracy McGrady, outstanding, outrageous, simply incredible. That the Rockets did not call timeout. When you've got a fantastic player like Tracy McGrady, let him play basketball. He comes up big for the Rockets. Tracy McGrady, as you can see, is starting to play a little bit, have some fun. Mismatch right now. Yeah, the back gets a little bit loose, and T-Mac is heating up. But Brown lost it. Here comes McGrady. No timeout for Manning. McGrady for the win. Yeah! Oh! 1.7 to go. Watch him. This plays for him, whether he comes out on the pick or they just throw it up to him. He comes out. Nice little fake. Steps back. Fires. Got it! Tracy McGrady with a three, and the Rockets have taken the lead by one. Dallas, 14th in points allowed, 8th in field goal defense, and that says a lot. Here comes McCready. Oh, he just sucked the gravity right out of the building. What a play by T-Man. How about the passion? Look at the animation on Tracy McGrady. Normally sleepy-eyed, very, you know, very smooth. What's up, YouTube? Back with another video, and today, got some playing out online with the 08 Rockets. And in these two games, you'll see me playing through T-Mac. Yao scores a few points here and there, but I really didn't play through him too much. Like, every time Yao gets the ball in the post, he gets doubled and triple team. But Yao is a beast. The post game is crazy, and he has a lot of animations that are the same as Hakeem. So his post hook, his shimmy hook, his post fade. So you could really do a lot of damage in the post. And on top of that, he's 7 for six so he's basically uncontestable like you have to jump to get any kind of contest and if you don't it's a bucket so i might end up getting one more gameplay with this team just so i could play through yao but like i said you'll see a lot of team mac in these videos this team does have their own playbook but it sucks so i use the bulls playbook again you'll see me calling some three-point plays for team mac use them a little bit of iso post up a little bit picking rolls you know kind of the usual stuff and i also like this team a lot because this team is actually complete like they have all the starters most of the bench this team has a lot of good pieces and yeah this is a really good all-around team so that's pretty much the intro as always i hope you enjoy thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content yo nah this is how trey young alston with the ball mcgrady outside the kick out to hey whose man is it Fires from deep. Good on the triple. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we oh see this God. these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's McGrady, up and in, off to him, and it's gone here in the first quarter. McGrady. The shot's good, Austin making the play. Uh -huh, yeah, pause. McGrady's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Rockets. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Here's right. Pass to Okongwu. There's a screen. The kick out to right. And there's the drive. Yao with the block. And you have to appreciate the reach of me. Superb at putting himself in a good position there to block oh, yeah. the shot. Now, here's Yao. And that one, good. Yao with it. Now, here is McGrady. Eight points for him. On the wing, Tracy McGrady. And another three for Houston. And staying with it. He drank two triples in the first quarter. Now gets this one. To the middle. Here's Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. And Bogdanovich throws it down. 
Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. McGrady outside. Another shot. Hey! And he gets the whistle. Gallinari's got five now. That's a beautiful play call. Gallinari's dangerous off the catch because it allows him to get his shot in rhythm. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the neck. Thirty-six seconds left to play in the first half. Oh, the shot. Gets it to fall. A bucket from Herder. That's Kevin Herter's bread and butter, where he shot 42% from beyond the arc his sophomore year in college. Pass to Battier. Back to Alston. Now McGrady. Now here is Battier. Back to McGrady. Shoots the three. A three-pointer is right on target. McGrady's got a pair of triples in the second now for the run. Shit out here, nigga! Down Dumb. with the block. McGrady. Lock at six. They double team up. Daddy A for three. McGrady outside. Pick by Yao. Shot by McGrady. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. McGrady's got 21 in the game. You gotta love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. Al Young. He's got seven. Don't give them that rest. And y'all, why are you even jumping, bro? And he makes both free throws. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to McGrady. This one for three. Traps in the tray. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Tracy McGrady on the wing. Kobe! And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And McGrady has accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game. Keeps that high release point on the jump shot. Man, wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. And a look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. It's tipped. Oh, yeah. McGrady left side. And Young comes over to help. Why am I, why am I lagging, bro? Of course I would lag right there. The Hawks trail by eight. From deep three-point range, another three for Atlanta. Four, three. What do you expect? Young is a threat to score the moment he crosses half court. Here's McGrady. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Pass to Novak. Here's Young. Landry with it. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And that will tie this game up. Rising to the occasion, he found a way to get himself open and get his shot. Working the mid-range, but you would think the defense would be keying on him. Young inside. Banked in off the glass. Uh. Young's got 17 points here in the second half. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Brooks with no one around. Six the three-pointer. And the Rockets lead by one. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Over to the left wing. Oh. 
Respect it, respect it, respect it. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Huh. Here's Yao. And Yao slips side. Oh, yeah, good steal. And it's Houston on the break. Alston with the ball. Guarded by Hunter. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Especially when he's hitting the office of glass. Two minutes. Pass the batty in the game. Two minutes. Now Alston. Just five to shoot. McGrady and another three for Houston. Come on, bro. Taking over the basketball game, hand down, man down. Knocks down the jumper, having his way on the offensive end. Dribble penetration, help is late, making the Nuggets pay the price. Seven of nine field goals in the fourth quarter. How about the pump fake and mama, there goes that man. This is what I see. This is what I be talking about. You got to have go-to moves and things you could go to when the play break down. He didn't, he didn't expect me to do that. Explosive leaper Collins hangs in the air, puts on a show. He takes it in. <laughs> and that one's good. Young looking around. For the three. It's rebounded by Houston. What? He held a 12-point lead earlier. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Whether it's on the drive or from the outside, Trey Young is a problem, a dangerous score. Right side, Stola. Back to McGrady. And so it's a narrow victory for Houston, pulling it out to the double. What is that play? Correct. Out of the timeout. And which obviously upset with Manu. Here's McGrady for three. Watch him see. 35 seconds to go. Continues to hit at the line. And the Spurs now lead by seven. Rockets looking for a quick shot. Bowen is all over. McGrady foul is picked up. Yes. A potential four point play. Still a game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Let's the three fly. The shot by Powell, no good. And you could tell he thought that triple was gonna fall. You gotta get out on that man, bro. That good. McGrady. And, and how about getting a hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside? They set the screen. And he gets it to go. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes oh. he's seen right oh. now. Oh. Think about the rookie year that PG had where he shot under 30% from the three-point line, but all that tireless work in the offseason and now such a vital part of his game. Crazy. And he barely blocked the shot. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And here's Alston. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. You suck. I sold that so hard, bro. Here's Leonard. I sold that so hard. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Down low. <laughs> like that's not about to help you, bro. Boom, he jams it straight down. And McGrady has an impressive vertical there, showing once again with how well he ducks the basketball. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here is Austin. 
After the basket by Los Angeles. That should be an and one. Second difference between shot and game plan. And here's Leonard from three. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's McGrady. Pass to Battier. Back to McGrady. Oh, don't back up. Fades away. That one misses. And the Rockets take it the other way. Let's go, T-Mac. Let him know you got to stop the ball, bro. That's basketball one-on-one. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Here's George. Another one falls on the Clippers. Just tough shots just don't bother Paul George. So smooth with it when he gets into his motion. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Now Powell shoots the three. It's hauled in by McGrady. Here he goes. And that one is hammered home. Something of a lost art these days. They're still practiced by superstars like Kawhi Leonard. Coach Ty Lu said, why not work on the shots that teams are giving up? Down the street, mid-range shots you win games. Playoffs, too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. Guys? And they do shoot it at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And Pettier throws it down. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Here's Yao. Yao. And he banks in the lane. Assist from. That's now eight points for cool. Yao. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. It's stolen by McGrady. Run the floor, Yao. Yao I'll see you, team Max. See you, Yao. And Yao slams it in. Well, that was going to drop. It looked good from here. McGrady with the ball. George picks him up to the middle. And Yao slams it in. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get Yow. the chip. Yao with the block. In the corner, Betty. Shooter ready. For the three, trains the three-pointer. And now it's an eight-point rocket lead. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Rockets. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. I also love the fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. With the drive. I actually wanted to do a step back into the corner. Go oh, and cap that one off with a little something extra switching hands on the dunk. He knows how to get some hang time there. Great play. Pass to Alston. McGrady outside. Houston again with the button. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. A three from Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. 
Uh, you settle in and you watch the show coming from Kawhi as he's filling it up and doing it in a lot of ways. McGrady outside. Leans from outside. Offensive rebound. Yao. Yao me. And then jam down as he goes right over Ikita Zubas. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out That's there. So crazy. As the opposing coaching staff, I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. On the wing, Battier. Back to McGrady. Driving inside. Tracy and McGrady. there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot. Greg frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not he enough help well. there. Lack of communication Shoot. on the backside. Here's McGrady. Hey! I like the size McGrady has inside. Fantastic at kind of angling his body there for the interior shot. So Houston wins it. Here comes McGrady. Oh, he just shook the gravity right out of the building. He takes it up and go. Tracy McGrady did not just do that. Tracy McGrady with an incredible performance down the stretch. 1997 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Tracy McGrady from Mount Zion Christian Academy. Look out. Oh. Tracy McGrady has the world at his fingertips. Tracy would display flashes of brilliance while teamed in Toronto with his cousin, Vince Carter. It's a family affair. He wanted to be the king on the court. Let's go. Young, athletic, wanting to just destroy people. <laughs> That's what it was. These kids can fly, can't they? His dunks were extremely explosive. Kind of lulled you to sleep. Before you knew it, he was jumping over top of you. McGrady had improved steadily in each of his three seasons in Toronto. But when he returned home to Florida and signed with the Orlando Magic, Tracy would take his game to yet another level. T-Mac was unleashed, ripping off seven straight All-Star appearances and named his seven consecutive All-NBA teams, while twice leading the league in scoring. Tracy McGrady takes it back in the lane, serves it off the Whoa. glass, rolls out for the jam. Whoa! Here's a guy at 6'9 that moved as if he was 6'3, can literally do everything. He could turn left shoulder, he can turn right shoulder, he could score from the post, he could score from the perimeter, he could facilitate, he could defend. When you have that combination, it's extremely dangerous. McGrady sets a franchise record 62. When Tracy joined the Rockets, he formed a devastating partnership with Yao Ming. You definitely have understanding of basketball, or like we say, basketball IQ. You see a potential opportunity before everybody see it. That's why I made him so special. No sequence captured McGrady's ability to put the ball in the basket, quite like when he erupted in one of the most storied comebacks in NBA history. That game is hopeless already. Ball game over. All we need here is the final score. T-Mag to turn on his firepower and threw out everything he got. Cuts it to a two-point lead. Here comes McGrady for the win. Yes! Oh, give me five. I don't believe it. I do not believe this. 13 points in 33 seconds. For all those fans that left, gosh, y'all missed a great game. <laughs> he made the game look easy while dominating. I remember him being a skinny, scrawny kid to now be one of the greatest players who's ever played. It's pretty surreal. He could just do it all. One of the most dominant perimeter players to ever have played in the NBA. McGrady, four seconds left. Come on. What a shot by Tracy McGrady. 